morning guys. Uh, today I'm heading out to do a couple different things. I see three, hopefully. We'll see what happens. This morning I'm uh, changing out an indoor TXV, very similar to the one we changed out last year. Uh, it was on a train 14 seer unit last year, uh, last end of last summer. I'm doing the same sort of thing today. Uh, secondly, I had a call that unit was out of refrigerator and they wanted me to find the leak. And then the last thing would be changing an outdoor TXV, which is kind of a strange time of year to do that, I guess. But uh, it was actually malfunctioning in a different kind of way. Hopefully I'll be able to show you how that was. But uh, that's what we got for today. Let's see how much of that I can put on the camera. Here is the development we are doing our work in today, our indoor TXV. I see they're still building houses in here. Here's one up here. But years ago in the 1990s, mid-1990s, late 1990s, I still work for my father, and we did work in here on a few of these houses when they were built. So it's kind of neat coming back and seeing them again after all these years, and now I'm you know, the service guy. I was my own company, and back then I was just an installer. Didn't know nothing, but nice houses, cool places. This is our outdoor unit for the indoor TXV train XC1200 heat pump, 12 sear. I'm letting off the nitrogen I had on the system. I uh, put about 175 pounds on it, and we were down about 80. So I'm going to let that off, and then we'll get to fix it. Okay, our first step after we let out all the nitrogen, we come up here and disconnect the coil. See the train air handler? It's our blower, heater. There's a transformer because we have a zone system. Transformers power the dampers, uh, especially if they're spring dampers. They eat up a lot of electricity and they need an extra transformer for sure. But the newer power open closed dampers don't use as much electricity. I think it's about a quarter of what these spring dampers use. But now we can pull the coil out, uh, sweat out the TXV, and put the new one in. The leak in the coil while we're changing TXV, this is the sensing bulb tube here, sensing bulbs underneath here. This is the equalizing tube for the TXV. Uh, they came together and rubbed and actually sawed each other, but there's a tiny hole on the equalizing tube. If it would have cut the sensing bulb tube, we would have had a different set of uh, symptoms. But because it cut the equalizing tube, the refrigerator just leaked out of the machine. So that's why we're changing this TXV. Alright, our valve is all fitted up here. We have a coupling heading into the valve, heading out here, flared up to half inch copper. And our equalizing tube fitted up over here. It's not quite in the hole yet. I have a put it in a little bit farther than that, but that is sort of our dry fit. We're going to run nitrogen. I brazed the board right here and start brazing. I have the new TXV brazed in there, a little bit of heat sink on there to keep it from damaging the TXV. Brazed on both sides. Got the equalizing uh, line brazed in. Uh, of course, this end is brazed off so I can check this thing with nitrogen. Um, I want to be able to set it back inside of the air handler and not have to worry that it will be leaking. So, I'm going to go ahead and check it with nitrogen make sure to this point we're good to go. Then I can put it back in the air handler. Our coil is all back in place. I've insulated the lines and brazed everything back up. About to do the drain down there. We're to take it loose. It kind of fell apart when I took it off anyway, so I'm going to run a new one. We're just going from right there to right there anyway. Uh, add a new P-trap. Be nice and clean. And then I can button everything back up and go outside and 
make sure our nitrogen test out there is going as planned and then pull a vacuum and recharge. Alright, we've got our new drain in place there. I'm going to go check on the nitrogen test and if it's done, we'll go ahead and start pulling a vacuum and I can start cleaning up all my junk. Alright, we're all buttoned back up here. Uh, everything looks nice and semi-neat. And we might be winning Air Handler of the Year this year for this one. I doubt it. So there's my PVC supplies. About to take some of my junk down. That's a nice box right there, Harbor Freight. They do make good things. We have our vacuum going. We're down to about 442 microns. I'll let it run for a while. And then we will be putting the charge in and restarting this year. Well, I don't know if you guys can see it, but we got about 25 degrees of superheats coming down. We got 5 degrees of subcooling. That's going up. Uh, 197 over 76. Uh, we talk about TXPs that are loaded or unloaded can have trouble because uh, they're at the edge of their capacity. Well, this one's definitely loaded down because it's in the 80s in that zone. It's just having it has its work cut out for it. So that superheat number should be coming down as we progress here. Uh, probably need a little bit more refrigerant. It was a real long line set to get the sub cooling up. But other than that, we are good to go. Everything's working fine, and I'm about to head to the next one.